Welcome to Automation Training. In this video, we are going to see counter function. So in ABB, we have uh, two type of uh, counters. We have up counter and down counter. So first we'll see the up counter. So in here, I'll place the input. So when you're using the counter, definitely to reset the counter, we need the reset function. So separate the rung added. So right now in input, for counter, the address has been given as C5 colon 0. So when I given a C in here, automatically it will show you counter, enter, address will come, 5 colon 0, enter and preset count that means uh, how much count we want to count it so i'm saying five counts accumulator so accumulator means uh, current value it will display so whenever the sensor so this will be our sensor so whenever sensor sends the product your accumulator value will increase so once it reach five count i need to activate an output so we have to use in your counter you can see we have uh, two bits we have cu and dn cu is sensor so whenever the sensor sends an object it will give a pulse that will be what cu bit but right now what we need is after five count output should on so for that we have to use done so C5 colon 0 slash dn. And this one is for to reset the counter. So right now, save it. Download. Run. So right now, uh, when the sensor sends an object, it will give a single pulse. So the accumulator value is one. So again, two, three, four, five. So you can see output is on. After five count also, if the sensor keep on sensing the object now, you can see in accumulator, it will sense the, since the sensor is sensing in the counter, you can see it is increasing. So once again, if you want to use it, then what we have to do now, we have to reset the counter so that again we can use it. From zero onwards, the accumulator will start. So this is the working principle of counter. Same way, right now we have down counter. So just I'll delete this block. I'll add the down counter. We'll use the same address. So when you're using a down counter, you can see the working. So normally in down counter, how it will work now? Initial the accumulator value, instead of zero, it will show you five. That means whatever preset value given, it will start with that. Once it reach five, your output will off. Sorry, once it reach uh, the accumulator, reach, uh, accumulator value reaches zero, the output will on. So that means initially the accumulator value will be five. Whenever the sensor sends, it will decrease the count and once it reach 5, output will on. But in ABB, sorry, in AB, you can see what we have is the accumulator value, it won't be in uh, 5, it will be in 0 only starting itself. So if I activate the uh, toggle bit, you can see it will show you minus 1, minus 2 like that. So I'll reset it. 
when you're using a down counter, what we have to do is if you say after five count output should on, then manually in accumulator, we have to type the count as 10. So right now, what happened is, initially your output remains in on. Once after five count, what happened is your output will off. So you can see if it goes below five, output is off. So in this way only we have to use the down counter. So that's why in most of the application we won't prefer down counter. Instead of down counter we can go with up counter. So only preset if you're given if the sensor keep on sensing that the accumulator value will increase, the current value will increase. So in down counter what happens now? As a programmer, each time manually we can't feed the accumulator value. So for that also we have to develop a program so that uh, automatically the accumulator value becomes 10. Each time when you press the reset, like that we have to develop. So that's why no one will prefer down counter in programming. Always we go with up counter. So right now we'll see an example. How we using the time run counters. For the example right now. We'll do that traffic light program. So when the switch is on, then red on, after five seconds, yellow on. Red off after five seconds. Green on yellow off after five seconds. So it should repeat and it should repeat only for five times. So now for this we try to develop the program. So right now I'm using the switch. So this will be our input. So when the switch is on, red lamp is on. So in this itself, what I'll do is, Parallelly, we'll connect the timer. So, five seconds. Be given five seconds, then next jump. So, after five seconds, what should happen now? That lamp should off, yellow should on, This will be yellow. Red 
then again so after 5 seconds yellow should off and then green should on then after 5 seconds Your process should repeat. Since I, it should repeat, what we have to do is we have to reset the timer. So, in here, I'm using the NC contact off. Last point. Save, we'll check it. So when the start input is given, when we press the switch, and it is on after five seconds, red off, hello on. After five seconds, yellow off, green on. After five seconds, green off, again red is on. So your process is repeating. But in our condition, we want to repeat only for five times. So now we have to use counter. So the last uh, I'm going to use the the last timer 10 bit as a contact for the timer so it can count the loop. So this one is for reset we using it and in here we using the the top we using the NC contact of counter counter done bit. Now save it, download, run. So right now, on the switch, we have to reset okay, the preset count we are not given. So you can see it is started. So that is on. Then red off, yellow on, then green on. So you can check the counter. So one time is done. So uh, first loop is completed. So right now the second time it is uh, running. You can see in the counter the accumulator. So how many times the loop has been run? So the loop has been completed for two times. So you can see the output in here. So we
So three time is completed. Right now it is finding it fourth time. Now the last one. That's it. So right now the 10 bit is energized. You can see your process is not running unless you reset it. So like this, we can use the time alarm counter. Thank you.